Hello guys, uh, I'm just <coughs> starting off uh, on a ride uh, to go to uh, St. Joe, just north of St. Joe, uh, probably there's a bridge out there on the Oklahoma border. So I'm just going to head out there uh, and then uh, check it out. So let's go. Uh, it's a pretty it says 58, but I don't think it's 58. It's probably less than that. It's probably 48, 50. Uh, so uh, here we are. Uh, the last time I rode was on the gravel road, and now I'm back to the street again and uh, do my practice uh, and the Zen rides, that's what I call it, Zen rides. Just chill and enjoy the scenery. Uh, friends were asking me to go for the dirt biking. Uh, man, uh, you know what, I consider dirt bike and track as tools to improve my riding. Uh, but I'm finally a street rider. <laughs> I want to travel, I want to look at places, look at things, enjoy the motorcycle. So I'm not uh, here to uh, go faster and faster in tracks because for some reason uh, the dirt bike and the tracks and everything else for me feels like a class. <laughs> and when I ride the motorcycle on a street on an adventure road either in a, you know, gravel or anywhere else is when I feel like I'm uh, I'm actually enjoying so I just go to those places just to improve my skills but that's not my primary focus so I finally figured out that's the reason because guys keep asking me hey why don't you come for that and stuff and I just couldn't figure out exactly uh, what to say so <laughs> but I think I put some thought into it and that's probably what it is <laughs> Anyway, uh, I will uh, see you guys on the road, the usual road I'm taking. Um, um, I started the reel uh, on this one, so it'll show the route where I'm going. Uh, pretty much uh, the valley view, 922, 455, 922, you know, Munster and back on 677. Let's see how much, I t uh, how much of it I can cover. Anyway, talk to you guys in a bit. The road surface on this road has become a little uh, <laughs> pickled, I must say. So, uh, yeah, yeah, it used to be really uh, nice and flat, I guess. So, yeah, you got to be careful. But this is the 455, the usual route, which takes me across to 922. And uh, it's a beautiful country out here, but I guess... Uh, they will be all developed eventually and this is a low speed uh, right hander left hander coming and then uh, again there's a right hander after that so you gotta be careful get all your technique out here the light on your arms Knobby tires <laughs> sometimes struggle to find traction here, you gotta be careful. Another low speed right hander drop down to three I guess. Get all my body turn around, look through the corner. of the road here. And there's one more left-hander. Again, low speed after that the road straightens out a little bit. Turn and 
drop your head that's my rule here twist your hips turn your shoulders and drop your head to the mirror this is the low speed left hander coming up beautiful country here Legendary 455 Where everybody in North Texas just comes along and does their practice Okay, uh, it's still not warmed up yet. It's really cold. <laughs> I should have worn my uh, liner uh, inside this But this is beautiful uh, 922 crossing uh, the north end of the Lake Ray Roberts, I think Beautiful stuff here. A little chilly, but uh, I think uh, we'll make it. <laughs> oh, sun finally peeking through the skies and a beautiful train crossing. I love train crossings. <laughs> gorgeous, gorgeous. Finally, sun is peeking through. There goes the train. Just in time. I think this road is getting a little more crowded because 380 is getting a little uh, uh, crowded and people are taking this one to get to 35 I think to go north to Oklahoma and everywhere else. Typically there was not too much traffic on 922, but that's changing. Change of the times. Uh, this is the town of Valley View. I come here for some donuts occasionally. But this time we will pass right through. Beautiful sun. Beautiful town of uh, Valley View is the donut shop. They're all closed right now because they close at 12 o'clock. 5 to 12 donuts available only during those times actually they have lots of other things too that's what I always thought how can they survive on just donuts obviously they don't okay we will head on over to Munster yep uh, skies are looking blue uh, finally clouds, scattered clouds, uh, it's looking nice, it's 53, warming up just a little bit more. Nice day to be on the road. There's a beautiful S-curve here. sunny day. <laughs> it's turned out to be pretty good now. It started off uh, cold and cloudy. Windmills. <laughs> Surprising why they're not rotating. It's like crazy amount of wind out here. Not sure what the logic is. I guess they don't want extra power. <laughs> doesn't make sense to me. Cows, birds,
famous for all these windmills everywhere. <coughs> Interesting. All around this place, it's just gorgeous windmills. Uh, some of these houses have some windmills and solar power in them too. So I guess they are uh, going with the flow and there's a beautiful oil well there. <laughs> so you got everything. This is Texas. You got oil wells there, you got windmills up there. <laughs> We are at the border of Texas and Oklahoma, finally reached here at the Red River, the beautiful Red River. This is the bridge which crosses over from Texas to Oklahoma. Man, it was cold. <laughs> what a ride. <laughs> That was cold. That was really cold. <laughs> anyway, I hope you had a good time watching this video. I will talk to you guys later. Thanks for watching.